Good morning, everybody. My name is Carson. My wife's name is Sammy, and we are the complete couple. We just checked into the Bellagio. We've got a great day planned. I think we're going to head down to the pool for a bit. We're going to get some breakfast, and then we're actually going to head down to the South Point Hotel and Casino. We've never been there, so we're going to go check it out. Uh, we've heard that they got a bowling alley down there. Let's see what the South Point has to offer. May get some dinner. So we're going to take you guys along with us. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment and uh, let us know how we're doing, what we need to change, and we'll see you guys here soon. Hi. Morning. Morning. Should have had a snack to start. Where are we heading? Mon Gabi. It's Mon Ami Gabi. That's what it is, it's Mona Mikavi. It's actually really peaceful today. We made it to Mona Mikavi. We got a Yeah. But we came for dinner. Perfect outside seating. So we both did the steak and eggs. We, I did a side of sausage. Sammy did a side of avocado, and she did her steak and eggs. And a mimosa. Dude, look at that avocado. Yeah, it looks so pretty. So we're gonna dig in. Pretty picky steak, girl. And it's pretty fantastic. It looks nice. It looks pretty. Just by itself is good. Look at these cheesy eggs. They look so good. All the jams that you get. Look at that pretty jam on that thick toast. I mean, listen, they don't skimpy on the bread. Yeah. Or the steak. The jam is really nice. <laughs> the steak was huge. There you go, 132. Definitely worth it though. The steak was incredible. Well worth it. Softer than my steak at the Snake Lakes, which is... Yeah, something. literally better than Snake River Farm <laughs> steak. Really Half the price. Amazing, honestly. And there's so it, you can feed a family of four. Dude, I can't even take the hash browns. I have more than five. Yeah. It's so good. How's it? Lamb. They told it's like the most crowded place ever. It's really busy. So we just looked at the bowling alley, the arcade, the bingo, which has a game at oh, like two, three o'clock. We just missed the one at one. And the uh, hotel's actually really large. And they got a lot of corridors with games. We're gonna walk around, get a drink, and then we may actually go to the Link Promenade. To go check that out. We may come back and play bowling later. So we'll see how that goes. So one update on Ubers versus taxis. We took a taxi to South Point, it was $40, so that was quite a bit. We took an Uber back, it was only 18. So if, if you you've got a- on the strip, like on the strip, taxi's worth it. Yeah. If you hit the interstate, no. Good luck, take, a, take an Uber if you're gonna take the interstate. If you're staying on the strip, taxi's not a bad move, just my personal opinion. So just take that into account for off strip. This is the fastest elevator. I hate this elevator, I seriously gonna... hate this elevator. It shakes, flowers, old. Oh my God. Yeah, Sammy's like petrified of it. Oh, I hate it. I'd take the stairs if they had stairs. It's easy to get to. I just wanted to make this point if you guys watched our Alaska videos, you know that my wife is OCD. So, again, we have a, a whole sheet. And you can see I'm blue, she's red. So, you know exactly what we're bringing. Stuff's a little messed up now, but I had everything nicely. Look, everything nicely stacked with pants. So I knew what day was what. And you can see how Sammy's doing today. I'm tired. I'm tired. Don't be tired, we're in Vegas. Five minutes later. So we decided to come to Yellowtail. What do you think, babe? I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Should we do a gaiosa? Yeah, definitely. You wanna do a gaiosa and an edamame? Sure. That is the sweet chili and amame and the miso soup. Actually, it's really pretty. Sweet, but it's actually pretty good. What do you think? Are they sweet or spicy? Sweet. Huh. They look pretty. Yeah. So what is that? The pork gyoza. The gyoza with a sauce. Try it out, honey. Tomato. Ooh. 
don't know about that one. You think I can fit this whole thing in my mouth? Yeah, go for it. Oh this is gonna drop right in your lap. It's very popular. That was pretty good. What? I'm excited. Look at the bottom. It's yeah, like they look nice good. And fried there, and then the inside's really pretty. Oh yeah, they look nice. I'm excited. That is the tuna. The magara. Magara? I'm not sure. And Sammy always gets hers with the but... side of avocado. Yeah. Looks really pretty. And that is the albacore, which I just got some shimshimi. I got some extra rolls coming. So that's the shrimp tempura. That was the toro roll added avocado and tuna. Let's see a toro tuna. How is it? That is milk in your mouth. Wow. Here is the bill at Yellowfin or Yellowtail. What is it? Kind of worth the price though. Yeah, not bad. So we just left Yellowtail. Let me so tell you, what? honestly, the price for what sometimes we get in Orlando, it really was not that Comparable, bad. Comparable, maybe like a couple bucks more on the couple items. I, like, I'll be honest, they charged like $8 for avocado, $4 for cream cheese, so that was a little bit much, but other than that, it was pretty good. Yeah, because and, I've got a Hallmark Baby Sushi place, it's like $6 per nigiri, and I think this one was like $7.50. It was yeah. really good. So. And if you come at the right time, sit outside for the fountains. Right. The fountains were awesome. Uh, they went off twice while we sat there for an maybe hour. Almost three times. Yeah, maybe three times. So, if you come at the right time, sit outside because you'll get. They had. We didn't know that, but we would sit outside next time because yeah, it had the best view possible for the Bellagio fountains. Now I think we're gonna head to. We're gonna go do some shopping. Here we're gonna go to the Mira Kamal shops, go walk around. We have these cars I want, and then maybe we'll go to the Yeah. So we'll see you guys here soon. Oh my God! It's raining. Oh my God! Again. They said it rains only 26, 26 days, days out of the year in Vegas. It's kind of cold rain too. That is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Famous Hell's Kitchen. And absent. We've done Hell's Kitchen how many times? Three? Three times we've done Hell's Kitchen. Twice it was. First it was great. Second yeah. it was average. Third I would never go back again. Third it. the. Filet was. It was our favorite restaurant. In it Vegas. was literally I br I bragged about it to all our friends. It went really touristy, really quick. Also, absinthe we've been to. So fun. Yeah. Fantastic show. Not so. For the lighthearted. Oh my god! If you have a kid under eighteen, or if you're easily offended, don't, literally at all. Don't don't, go. don't dare. <laughs> We didn't get it on really film. We didn't get it on film, but we got the burger. Good, but not I should have taken price. a picture of the bill because her Caesar salad was thirty-two dollars. Like, yeah, so it was, and it was it was not worth thirty-two dollars. My burger was really good. Yeah, so that was like twenty-eight. Yeah, my burger was really good. It was good, not great. And I love Gordon Ramsay. He is literally my favorite chef. I think our bill here was like $100 and we got a Caesar salad, a burger, a, burger, a, a wine, and a beer. Yeah. Rolex, Balenciaga. Here we go to Louis. Come up. What are you trying on? It's so little. It is really cute. Super last cute. one they had, who knows if that's true, but I'll take it. Yeah, they always tell us, last one. <laughs> so cute though. Little Vegas treat. So what are we doing tonight, babe? I don't know, where are you taking me? I'm taking Sammy to the Link Promenade, which we have not been to this trip. Well, we haven't been in like two years and they kind of redid it, is what yeah. I think. I will tell you this, we have done that wheel right there. Three I know times. we've done at least two, and both times There's we did the alcohol times. package. Oh, it's cute. And let me yeah, tell you, you drink a lot in 30 minutes because it's unlimited alcohol. So your goal is to hammer as many Michelob Ultras or not. as possible by the time that wheel comes back down. And I think it's like a 30 minute time limit. So if you want to do it, I recommend doing it if you're willing to drink a lot. If you don't, it's not worth the money. But if you're willing to drink, do the no, wheel. We are at All American. Perfect people watching here on the link. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a show, 
Look at like this. That. You sit right here, you just people watch. We're gonna see something, I feel like, for sure. <laughs> What's your A? You gotta hydrate. Always gotta hydrate. Well, That's how you get through Vegas. That's right. I'm spinning it because I got the bonus. 50? Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god, every casino wrecked us tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're calling it a night. Oh, a, what is it, a Wednesday? Heading home sweet home to Bellagio, where we can sleep our losses off. Yeah. And then they head to the- a whole heck of a lot harder. Yeah. Head to the airport tomorrow, where hopefully our flight doesn't get delayed. Hopefully making our flight on Southwest. I hope we make our flight. Southwest, scary yeah. as all get out. Yeah, fingers crossed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so we are packing up here at the Bellagio to head on home. Uh, day again with messed up flights. It is looking like our flight, our first flight to Denver is already delayed by 30 minutes. And our connection was only a 50 minute layover. So if we get on our connecting flight, it'll be a miracle That's out of Denver. Creepy. Boarding closes 50 minutes before departure. So yeah, we got maybe, I don't know the math, but maybe 15 minutes. Hopefully if it all works out. My final thoughts here on uh, Bellagio. Casino area may be pretty here at the Bellagio with the conservatory and they got Sedels, which I thought was fantastic. But the hotel room in general, I think the Aria is better than the Bellagio here. So just something to think about. I thought the Aria was a little more nicer, cleaner. They had the iPad. I think I felt like this room was a little outdated. So we will take you guys along today to see how our day transpires, if we're gonna make our flights or not. We'll see you there. We are on the 27th floor, room 100. Here's a little tour. So this is the bathroom. Nice shower. This is, they told us a newly renovated. So there's your big walk-in shower. You've got granite countertops. Nice two big mirrors. And there is your toilet. So that is your vanity. Then when you come in here, you've got a closet, a robe in there. Here is your safe, you need a safe. You walk in, here is the bedroom. We got non-feather pillows. So here's the room. One thing that I like that I've already seen is they put charger charging ports right here next to your bed, which is really nice. So that makes it easy. You got a, like a love seat, table and chairs, TV, obviously the fridge in there. Don't touch anything in there unless you wanna pay for it. And then we actually got a nice view. This is a pool view. So that is our view out of our room. Uh, all around pretty nice, very clean. That's our little room tour. This is a nice little sandwich shop. They fresh cut your meat right here in the airport. Look at that. Port of subs. 10 bucks a piece. Yeah, pretty good. What did you get in that? Um, pepperoni, salami, and pastrami. No, capicola. Oh, capicola. Capicola. The sandwiches were amazing. Yeah, actually, they were really I hammered mine. Well. 